Scientists are confirming that the holy basil plant, which is called Osimum Sanctum, also called Tulsi, has numerous health and medicinal benefits. Research has determined the plant extract can treat at least 20 conditions. The holy basil herb is one of the oldest and most used medicinal herbs. It's provided the backbone of many treatments among Ayurvedic physicians from thousands of years ago, as it was used to treat numerous disorders. It has also been revered for its spiritual potency and has been dubbed among ancient Ayurvedic texts as the elixir of life. The word Tulsi is translated to incomparable. The plant grows in warm and tropical regions but also up to 6,000 feet in the mountains. There are actually two general cultivars of the herb. One has green leaves and the other has purple leaves. Culinary basil, Osmum basilicum, is quite different. A 2014 DNA sequencing study was conducted at the CSIR, Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, genetically compared the two species. The research found significant genetic differences between the two species. They may share a few constituents, but their genetic sequences have significant differences. Holy basil's pungency is due to its content of eugenol along with terpenoids. There are many other medicinal compounds in Tulsi, which we list right here. According to ancient Ayurvedic texts, there are a number of conditions that Tulsi has been used for. These include stress and anxiety, coughing and asthma, intestinal issues and diarrhea, fevers, arthritis, eye conditions, hiccups, ulcers, heart and artery conditions, back pain, skin conditions, ringworm, bites from insects, snakes and scorpions and others, and malaria. Okay, this list is huge, and yet there are even more conditions that Tulsi is recommended for by Ayurvedic physicians. The question now is whether scientific research supports these various uses for holy basil. Does the ancient medicinal remedy stand up in the face of modern science? Let's look at some of the research. A 2019 study from Nigeria tested 63 ulcer patients with holy basil oil with coconut oil or a placebo for four weeks alongside antibiotics. The researchers found the holy basil oil helped eradicate H. pylori and resolve ulcer symptoms including pain. Research from the College of Pharmacy at the University of Delhi found that the oil of holy basil was able to counteract ulcerative effects. Other studies have confirmed this effect. A number of studies have investigated holy basil's ability to reduce infections due to bacteria. Much of this antibacterial character of holy basil is due to eugenol. Eugenol has undergone study in other venues as a proven antimicrobial substance. For example, a 2015 study from Brazil's University Federal de Alfinas found that eugenol was antimicrobial against salmonella and micrococcus, both infective bacteria. A study from India's Calcutta School of Tropical Medicine tested extracts of holy basil against antibiotic-resistant strains of salmonella and found the Tulsi significantly reduced these strong contagious bacteria. This antibacterial quality of holy basil supports the clinical experience of Ayurvedic doctors of ancient times that used Tulsi for conditions related to numerous bacterial infections, including intestinal issues, lung conditions, skin infections, and eye infections. Oxidative stress is related to a number of disorders including cardiovascular conditions, dementia and Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, aches and pains, liver issues and others. Oxidative stress occurs as the body responds to the oxidation of fats and glucose within the body. This oxidation forms free radicals that in turn produce tissue damage. When lipoprotein fats such as LDL are oxidized, they begin to damage the blood vessels creating atherosclerosis. High blood pressure and other cardiovascular diseases. Free radicals can also damage brain cells, increasing the risk of dementia. Research from India's Animalal University found that a whole leaf extract of holy basil significantly reduced lipid and protein oxidation. The researchers found that Tulsi exhibited superior antioxidant properties but also lowered phase 1 enzymes that are found in peroxidation metabolism. The extract also increased the phase 2 enzymes which tend to balance and moderate oxidative stress. Another study from India's DVS College of Arts and Science found that two different extracts of holy basil was able to significantly reduce lipid peroxidation activity in a dose-dependent manner. 
Research from India's Sharma Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences fed rabbits 2 grams of Tulsi for 30 days. After the period, the rabbit showed significantly reduced levels of glutathione and superoxide dismutase, indicating they had reduced levels of oxidative stress. The ability of Tulsi to reduce oxidative stress is often referred to as an adaptogen. This means that it helps the body cope with the stresses that burden our bodies from various fronts, whether it be physical, chemical, emotional, or otherwise. This also relates to Tulsi's ability to regulate insulin and glucose sensitivity. Analysis from the Southern California Evidence-Based Practice Center has confirmed this among the research. A study from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences found that Tulsi reduced HbA1c levels in diabetic rats and reduced blood sugar levels along with improved retina health after being fed Tulsi. Other similar studies have confirmed this. Tulsi is well known for reducing stress and anxiety. A 2008 study from India's Roy Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research tested 35 people with generalized anxiety disorders within a hospital clinic. The researchers treated the subjects with 1,000 milligrams of Tulsi extract for 60 days. The subjects were tested in the beginning and at 30 days and after 60 days utilizing the Hamilton Brief Psychiatric Rating Scale along with examinations. The study found that holy basil significantly reduced levels of anxiety, stress, and depression among the patients. Reducing anxiety and physical stress are related. A study from India's Central Drug Research Institute found that extracted constituents of holy basil reduced stress levels. The mechanisms of this included normalizing blood sugar, modulating cortisol, attenuating the adrenal glands, and balancing creatine levels. Other research has shown that holy basil can treat oral fibrosis. A study from India's Banaras Hindu University treated 41 patients with a mixture of Tulsi and turmeric 50-50. The patients applied a paste of the mix three to four times a day. Blood samples together with ratings of burning sensations found that the Tulsi and turmeric combination resulted in a significant improvement among the patients. Tulsi can also speed fracture healing. Research from India's King George Medical University investigated the use of Tulsi for bone healing. The researchers treated 29 cases of bone fractures in the mandible, the jawbone. The subjects were treated with Tulsi or an herb called Hadjot. A third group acted as the control group. Researchers found that the Tulsi treated group had faster healing of their fractures compared with the the placebo and the Hadjod groups, and the Tulsi treatment resulted in greater bone tensile strength. This was tested among the patients by measuring the strength of their bites. Research from India's University of Hyderabad found that Tulsi produced anti-inflammatory effects related to reducing cardiovascular disease. Holy basil extracts reduce levels of inflammatory cytokines. Other studies have shown that Tulsi consumption reduces LDL cholesterol and triglycerides while increasing HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol. The ability of the oil of holy basil to repel mosquitoes has been shown in case studies. The application of the oil onto the skin, clothing, or mosquito nets has been shown to be of practical use in the prevention of malaria and other mosquito transmitted diseases. Other research has shown it repels a number of other insects. Tulsi has been shown to prevent DNA damage and the potential for tumor creation in a number of studies. In one study, researchers from India's National Environmental Engineering Research Institute tested human lymphocytes in the laboratory and found that a holy basil extract protected against DNA strand breaks. Other studies have shown that Tulsi and its constituents protect against DNA damage related to radiation and chemical exposures. Research has also shown that holy basil can halt the growth of tumors that have already begun to develop. Researchers from Wayne State University tested mice with breast tumors and found the Tulsi extract group inhibited the growth of the tumors. One of Tulsi's constituents, known as Vicinin-2, was tested against prostate tumors with similar inhibition of growth in the tumor. Researchers from the University of Nebraska Medical Center tested holy basil against human pancreatic cancer cells in the lab. They found that Tulsi blocked the growth of the cancer cells into tumors. Tulsi blocked their proliferation, their migration, and their invasion of pancreatic cells. 
Researchers from South Korea's Kang Hee University found that Tulsi fights cancer in tests on human lung cancer cells. The researchers found that the extract significantly suppressed COX-2 enzymes. The extract also suppressed the growth of the lung cancer cells. A 2013 study reviewed other research on Tulsi's ability to treat or prevent cancer. They concluded that the wealth of research on the oil and extract showed it to be anti anti-cancer. A couple of studies have investigated Tulsi's ability to halt or treat liver damage. Both studies showed holy basil had a positive effect on the liver's health. These and other researchers have thus described holy basil as hepatoprotective, which means it protects the liver. Research from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences tested 24 healthy people. They gave either a placebo or 300 milligrams of Tulsi each day for four weeks. After the treatment period, those who were given the Tulsi leaf extract showed significantly more T helper cells, more natural killer cells, and increased IL-4, all indicative of a stronger and more vibrant immune system. Another study showed that Tulsi stimulated the increase in monocytes THP1. This is another sign of a stronger immune system. Researchers from India's Sharma University of Health Sciences fed rabbits 2 grams of fresh Tulsi leaf for 30 days. At the end of the 30 days, the rabbits were tested. Those fed the Tulsi had significantly increased levels of testosterone. However, it also decreased sperm counts, and a 1992 study showed that rats fed Tulsi showed reduced libido. Researchers tested five Ayurvedic medicinal plants against two Candida species, Candida albicans, and C. tropicalis. Of the five herbal extracts tested, an oil extract of Tulsi showed the greatest inhibition of the Candida species. Researchers from Japan's Prefectural University of Hiroshima tested a number of plant extracts from Asia and South America and found that Tulsi in particular was able to inhibit Leishmania. Leishmania is caused by several species of parasites often spread through sand flies in some parts of the world. A 2014 study from India's College of Dental Sciences and Hospitals studied holy basil against a number of infective bacteria. These included Prevotella and Fusobacterium species, which are two infective bacteria found in gingivitis and other infections of the oral cavity. The research tested holy basil as a mouthwash and tested it against chlorohexidine as well as a placebo. The research found that the holy basil wash inhibited bacteria similarly to chlorohexidine hexidine, a potent antibacterial agent with a number of side effects. A study from India's Santosh Dental College tested 45 children with infections of Streptococcus mutans, the major bacteria involved in periodontal disease. The researchers tested six different plant extracts along with chlorohexidine. They found that while Tulsi was not as strong as garlic, it did have antibacterial activity against the bacteria. Ancient Ayurveda suggests that Tulsi is useful to reduce pain in various conditions. This ability has been confirmed in a number of studies as holy basil has been shown to inhibit the cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme, the inflammatory enzyme known to stimulate substance P, which stimulates the sensation of pain within the nerves. In a 2016 review of research, scientists from India's Father Muller Medical Center found that holy basil can protect the body from the onslaughts of radiation. The researchers found a number of studies showing that the extra help protect the body from radiation, including radiation sickness and death from radiation. Hey, thanks for tuning in. To keep up to date on future health news, please hit the subscribe button. Take care of yourself.